We're here to fight obesity, and it's a huge fight that we have. So thank you for coming out here today for such a wonderful cause. Uh, we thank also Bridget Collins for putting this event together. Okay, we got some regulars. Thank you all for coming out today. Uh, we want to make always make sure we thank our sponsors who make this event possible, make this event free. Y'all got some nice sweatshirts this year, right? Yeah, so we want to thank, uh, first of all, Kathy Neely and Associates, because of her is why we're out here today. So we want to make sure that she gets uh, kudos from all of you all. Can you all just give a round of applause to Kathy Neely and Associates? That's why this event is still free. Okay. Um, we thank you all for coming out. Um, we want you to get out there and have a good time. This event is for a special cause because you all are well aware of the epidemic that we're all facing at this time with obesity. So this event is in support of trying to uh, educate people about strategies that they can do to live healthy. And today, hopefully for most of you all, if you're not consistent with some form of physical activity, this is going to be your start. How many people, this is going to be the start for you? Oh, okay, I guess all of you all are already exercising, huh? Well, I guess y'all should have brought your friends out here that don't exercise yet. All righty. So we're about to get started. We're going to have a word of prayer from Ermic Graham. If you all could just take your hats off and bow your heads for a moment of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord, our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, beautiful day. No rain. It's a little cold now, but we're sure you're going to warm up in a few minutes. Lord, we also thank you, Father, for the, every participant that came out today. We ask that this be an injury-free and accident-free race with their best times ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all ready? Kwanzaa Fest 2010, the 20th anniversary of Kwanzaa Fest. First of all, we can't say enough about the 20th annual Kwanzaa Fest. 20 years this community has supported us. They have made us the largest free admission venue uh, in not only Texas and the Southwest, but maybe in the country. And so we want to thank our sponsor. Our presenting sponsor is AT&T. Uh, they've been with us and they have continued to make sure as they say that the experience is something that you can make possible. And they're making this possible for the community. 
We want to thank our other sponsors, the K104, KRNB, KKDA, Service Broadcasting. We thank them. We also want to thank the Baylor Healthcare System, Texas Health Resources. We want to thank Parkland Health Systems. All of those, they make Kwanzaa Fest possible. You know, we're going to, we're going to take and breach $1 million worth of services this year to a community. $1 million for every $1 that our sponsors give us, we leverage $14. And when you look at that, to a community that, that has a 60% uninsured rate, so you talk about Dallas City that has a 33% uninsured rate. Dallas County, a 25%. Healthcare impacts the bottom line. So we want to say thank you to these sponsors. This venue would not be possible. Encore, Encore. Uh, Encore is electric uh, utility, but Encore, the great debate, it's about scholarships. It's about how do we take and give back to this community. Education, emancipation, how do we take care of ourselves? And so to our sponsors, we say thank you. Kids Fest, Mavericks, McDonald's, we say thank you. To Mass Incorporated, who's been with us all these years, we say thank you. To Texas Utility, we say thank you. To VHA, we say thank you. The city of Dallas, Dallas Water Utility, the recycling. When we talk about all of this, we say thank you. But my many volunteers, my Kwanzaa Fest committee, that's what it's all about. This production could not come off had it not been for the hundreds of volunteers and a committee that goes beyond just this two-day weekend, but we go to connectivity to care. We work all year to make sure that we're gonna be a much better, healthier community. And so to you, our sponsors, we say thank you. We look forward to 21, coming of age. Thank you. Kwanzaa is a celebration of family, community, and culture. The greetings during Kwanzaa are in Swahili. Now Swahili is a Pan-African language and is chosen to reflect African Americans' commitment to the whole of Africa and Africa culture. The greetings are to reinforce awareness of the seven principles and the commitment to these seven principles. These seven principles come from the seven day festival and each day is a celebration of a new principle. Starting off with unity, then self-determination. Moving on to collective work and responsibility, then to cooperative economics. Next purpose, then creativity, and last but not least, faith. These are all a part of Kwanzaa and its meaning, introducing and reinforcing the seven basic values of African culture. 20 years ago, Kwanzaa rolled out its red carpet and has been running ever since. The first Kwanzaa Fest was held at Lincoln High School and attracted approximately 1,000 patrons. Little did we know, that was just the beginning. The annual festival hosts more than 5,000 people during a two-day event, which is always held the second weekend in December at Fair Park in Dallas, Texas. It has become a staple of substantive family-friendly activities and services that are much needed by the community. Kwanzaa Fest has maintained its free admission to the public thanks to our vast number in sponsors. Speaking of our sponsors, just in this past year we had well over 100 sponsors and combined they were able to produce over $1 million in health products to help the public and being aware of their health needs. Kwanzaa Fest is able to accomplish its goals through partnership with sponsors and other civic-minded corporations in this community. 
as well as a wealth of advertising and marketing strategies. There are gifts given throughout Kwanzaa. However, the gifts are given mainly to children, but always include a book and a heritage symbol. The colors and decorations for Kwanzaa are black, red, and green. One of the most visual benefits of being a Kwanzaa Fest sponsor is having your name and or logo imprinted on the Kwanzaa Fest custom signature eco-friendly shopping bag. Your investment will pay dividends far past the scheduled two-day event. These eco-friendly bags serve as a reminder to the general public of companies who respect and honor the diversity of Dallas County and understand the need to reinvest where they do business. Kwanzaa Fest distributed 60,000 entry tickets last year and it was the hottest ticket in the Metroplex. The free ticket is required to ensure crowd safety. Become a ticket sponsor and increase your name and exposure even more. We would like to thank some of our sponsors such as AT&T. We would like to thank our sponsor, Baylor Healthcare System. The District 3 Commissioner, John Wiley Price. Also our sponsor, Encore. And of course, K104, hip hop and R&B radio station. Our sponsor, Methodist Health System. And of course, our sponsor, Texas Health Resources. We would also like to thank our sponsors, Novation and Provista. Can't forget about the smooth R&B of 105.7. Thank you to our sponsor, Walmart. Thank you to our sponsor, Parkland Hospital, VHA, Double A R P, and of course, thank you to the city of Dallas. Ba da ba ba ba, I'm loving it. Thank you to McDonald's because we have the eco-friendly bags. We have to thank our sponsor, T X U Energy. We would like to thank our sponsor, Kathy L Neely and Associates none other than the Dallas Mavericks. Thank you. We would like to thank Mass Incorporated. And we cannot forget about Lily. We would like to thank our sponsor, Southwestern Medical Center, as well as the Children's Medical Center. Thank you to all of our sponsors for the 20th Annual Kwanzaa Fest 2010. Thank you. That's what this thing is all about. The video that's out. So we want to thank you. Thank you for your presence and support. 20 years, y'all, right here. Sister the Sister was here, it left. It went to Houston. Black Expo was here, it left. It went to Houston. 